bleeding disorders are either acquired or congenital. Congenital means that the patient was born with a bleeding disorder. Acquired means that the patient developed a defect in their ability to form a clot. So it, the patient was not born with the defect. What are the signs and symptoms that we look for a bleeding disorder? And I think it's better for me to explain you as examples. For example, uh, recurrent prolonged nose bleeds that last greater than 10 minutes. Um, it occurred not only during the winter, throughout the year, any time during the year, um, increased bruising, um, a rash uh, that looks like petechia, which are pinpoint um, erythematous red lesions. There are signs, possible signs of a platelet defect, either on the function of the platelet or on the quantity of the platelets, meaning that the platelets are decreased, or a bleeding disorder known as von Willebrand disease. And depending on the severity is the degree of bleeding manifestations that the patient will experience. How do we start the evaluation for a patient with a bleeding disorder? The most important screening test uh, for a bleeding disorder in any patient is the history and physical findings. It's extremely important to document what type of bleeding, duration of bleeding, site of bleeding. Once uh, you document the history, it's important also to explore family history to see if there is any other family members that have a similar clinical picture uh, that help determine if it's a congenital disorder. However, I want to make sure and clear that in the absence of a bleeding disorder does not rule out a bleeding disorder in the family because many of these disorders can occur as a spontaneous mutations, a spontaneous abnormalities in, in a child at birth or it can happen as acquired disorders, for example, after birth. Mayo Clinic uh, has the unique uh, capability of having not only one of the best comprehensive hemophilia centers in the nation and of the world, but also we have uh, a coagulation laboratory. Both of uh, the groups uh, have uh, physicians, nurses, uh, a special coagulation technologist that help us evaluate the patient, uh, come on with the diagnosis through laboratory testing in an expedited fashion. Also, if patients require uh, surgery, especially when there is an underlying bleeding disorder, we have the expertise here at Mayo to integrate and coordinate the care between pediatric hematologists, surgeons, surgeons and a special coagulation laboratory tests, making possible uh, that these procedures are uh, done in a safely manner.